Hey everyone, I'm Eddie Rodriguez. Thanks for watching my video. Today I want to take a look at the Smash Up Big Geeky Box. For those of you that don't know, Smash Up is a game by AEG for two to four players. And in this game, the players are uh, you're gonna be there's these different factions in the game. There's pirates, there's ninjas, there's robots, there's wizards, there's all kinds of different sort of fantasy and sci-fi uh, tropes in it. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to, each one has its own separate deck and you're going to be uh, drafting a different decks. So you're going to draft two different decks, you're going to shuffle them up to, together, which is why it's called a shuffle building game, and then you're going to play against the opponents and you're going to be playing for points, you're going to be smashing these uh, bases and scoring points for it. And I'm going to kind of go over a quick overview of that but more what I'm doing with this video is is I'm gonna be showing you what the big geeky box is originally the smash up game came in this box about this size and they knew that they were gonna be doing expansion and stuff like that and so they added uh, in the game there's a insert like this where the base game had eight decks that would fill up about you know this this much of it and you had a lot of room to fill you know fill it up with the expansions well they have come out with a bunch of expansions of which I have them all and eventually it got too much for the you know base set uh, box and you really couldn't fit it all and if you wanted to carry it all well then you had to have multiple boxes so they have came up with this giant box here and uh, they claim that it's going to carry everything, uh, all the expansions, until the end of time. Uh, so I want to take a look at this, uh, let you know what I think of it, do a quick overview of the game, and then uh, you know show you what's in this box and should you get it or not. And uh, so let's uh, you know dive right in. All right, so here is the big geeky box, and because this box is meant to you know house all the decks from all the different factions they've tried to put as many of them as they can on the cover so you can see here we have like a werewolves uh, vampires there we have ghosts we have ninjas aliens cybernetic dinosaurs spies and even uh, bear cavalrymen Russians uh, riding on bears which is actually a pretty popular uh, faction in the game so let's do a real quick overview of the rules I'm not gonna delve into every single thing because you probably want to know a little bit more about this box for but for those that don't really know the game too well I just want to do a quick overview of it so let's get to it so normally what you're going to do is you're going to have eight random factions and then each player is going to randomly uh, choose and draft uh their, you know which factions they want to use and so I sort of just dealt a few out randomly here so we have uh, robot aliens and we have uh, zombie ninjas here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna after you draft them you're gonna take both decks and you're gonna shuffle them together and that becomes your main deck and then you're gonna deal out these base cards there will be a stack of them and once you get a bunch of the expansions you'll see that there's a, a you, you'll end up with a whole lot of them but you're gonna deal out a number of bases equal to the number of players plus one. So in a two-player game, we'll have three bases out here. And in your deck, and this one of the things that I like about the game is that there's really only two types of cards, but there's a lot that you can do with them. So we have a minion card. So if we take a good look here, you can see this is a minion card and it has a number up here. That's its power or how strong that minion is. And then it's going to have uh, some kind of special ability here. Now the special abilities, uh, most of the time they're going to be when they first come into play, you're going to, you know, just do whatever ability says. Some of them will have special instances when they affect and you just kind of have to read each card uh, to know what it does. So minions are the first kind of card you have and then there are action cards. Now action cards are sort of miscellaneous. When you play an action card it's going to have some text down here. You're going to do the text as you play the card and so on. Uh, some cards will say play on a minion or play on a base and they'll have maybe the ongoing text so they'll usually stay in play and give you sort of an ongoing effect so you have to read each one and see what it does some cards also will say special on them and they have special rules attached to them uh, but again it is one of those games where you have a set of rules and then the cards pretty much break the rules as you go along so the way your turn is going to go is at the beginning of the game you're going to draw a hand of five cards and you can play one minion and one action on your turn in whichever order you choose and you don't have to play either one if you don't want to so if you choose not to play a minion you don't have to but you have the option to play 
uh, one of each type of card and generally there's going to be cards that will give you more extra actions or play extra minions and you just kind of resolve them as you as you play them so what you're trying to do is you're trying to score points in this game the first player to receive 15 points wins the game unless there's a tie and what you're going to be doing is your minions are generally when you put them into play you're going to play them at a base so let's take a look at one of the bases so if you look at a base here uh, let's see if we can get a good look at it you have a number up here in the upper left hand corner that's the break point of the base and then there's uh, some numbers here which are points for coming in first second or third place so what you're going to be doing is when you add a minion there it's the after you play cards in your turn there's going to be a point where you're going to check is to see if a base is going to score if the total number of minions between you and the other players meets or exceeds the break point of the base then the base will score then you're going to check uh you're going to count up each player's total power of minions so if i have these two guys here this guy's a two this guy's a four so i have six total power and each player is going to do that the player with the most total power is going to score the first place first place points on this base second whoever comes in second will get the second place points and third place will get the last one if there's a fourth place he won't get anything if you're tied for uh one of these scores then you'll both uh, basically uh you know get the same points once a base is scored any cards that were played there are going to go get discarded they're not considered destroyed they just go to the owner's discard pile and that card will go away and then a new base will be selected at random and you go on you go on like that now uh, the expansions did add another card type or one of the expansions which actually caused a lot of controversy there was a Cthulhu themed expansion which added these uh, deck of madness cards now these madness cards they're all identical to each other and they do the same thing you can play them and draw two cards Let's see if we get a closer look at that. You can play them and draw two cards, or you can uh, play it to remove it from your deck and put it back into the madness pile. Now, the reason you want to do that is because if at the end of the game, you uh, for every two madness cards in your deck, you're going to lose a victory point. So you could find that you know you got to the 15 points and one, and but you had some madness cards in your deck, then they reduce your score, and then you lose. So that's the basic overview of the game and I probably missed a lot of things but this isn't really just you know about going into the, the, the mechanics of the game. You really want to take a look at the box so let's pull the box out. So here's the box here and what comes in the box well you have these nifty foam uh, sort of dividers that you can use in there to hold things tonight. Uh, one of the things that I really like is these dividers for the different factions uh, they're really nice they're really long they go uh, from the bottom of the box all the way to the top so they're pretty much flush with the top of it and they're really really beautiful they have the art of the different factions uh, so you can tell them really easy it's got the name up top and they're made of this really nice uh, you know hard plastic uh, they're very durable and they fit in really good they hold everything I've been able to once I have this all sealed I can move the box all around and the cards don't fall all the place which is a problem that I had with the base set the base set even when I had everything snug in there the cards will always come come apart and fall all over the place that doesn't happen in here everything fits in and it makes it really easy to find you know the decks that you're looking for as you can just kind of go in like I said the uh, these dividers in here go all the way up to the top of the box so when it's closed it's just nice and sealed nothing's gonna go anywhere uh, and the box is very durable as you can see it's very very thick uh, you know let's hold a card so you can see it you know, I mean it, it's a very very thick box it's sturdy uh, the center dividers hold really well uh, Unfortunately, there really isn't a place to put your tokens. I put my tokens in a plastic bag and keep them in there. They call. Uh, a gripe that I have with this game, though, is that the original rule booklet, which is a little bit larger, there's no place to put it in here. If you put it on top, uh, when you put the lid on, it's going to create this gap and uh, your things won't fit really snugly in there. So what I ended up doing was I took one of the... Uh, booklets from the expansion and put that in there but as you can see it gets all folded up because it 
doesn't fit in there. So I have to sort of bend it to kind of fit in there. And I don't find that a big deal. I don't mind that the book gets, uh, you know, sort of bent a little bit, but that may be a sticking point to people. And I don't recommend that you not bring the booklet in there because I, I find that in a smash up there's almost always gonna be some kind of rule issue and you're gonna want this handy to reference and, and, and resolve any arguments. Uh, so that's the box itself. I really like it. The only con at all to this box is the size of it. It's a very big box so it makes the game a little bit harder to transport. Uh, but however your stuff will transport nice and you know uh, intact so that's a good thing so give and take there another thing that the box comes with is the geeks expansion uh, so it comes with a new deck of cards of 20 cards all the decks are 20 cards and it's gonna be uh, these are all geeks and most of them are based around the tabletop show on YouTube which I really love and so you have uh, you know you have pictures of Will Wheaton and the executive producer of the show and they even went so far as to make a let's see if I can find it there's a card for Felicia Felicia Day, she's such a sweetheart, we all love her. And of course, there's a Will Wheaton card, which his card lets you, uh, this one says, you, you may play this minion when an opponent plays an action, this card, that action has no effect. So one thing I would say about the Geeks expansion, if you're used to playing the game, I would not use this faction with newer players. You uh, would only uh, include this if you're playing with uh, players that know the game really well, because a lot of these, uh, mess around with the rules they'll negate certain effects or they'll you know cancel uh, the, I already said that they'll negate some effects or you know they'll change some rules and things like that so uh, not really for new players uh, but veteran players will you know you'll get a kick out of this there, there's a lot to it okay so what do I think of smash up overall and the big geeky box well Smash Up is definitely one of my favorite games. I really love playing it. I like that almost every single time that I play, it's gonna be a different experience with, uh, especially when you add in all the expansions, you have just so many different, uh, you know, deck combinations that you can create uh, and you're gonna just have a different experience every time. So really like the game. There's just so much in there that, uh, you know, that it, they, each faction really plays very differently from the others. And then when you compound that by mixing them together, uh, you're gonna have a different experience every time. So that's, you know, one of the things that I love about the game and that's why it's one of my favorite games uh, in, in recent years. So now what do I think about the big geeky box? Well, you know, it's kind of you know subjective. If you plan on, if you really like this game and you want to get the different expansions, when you fill up your main box then and you still have more to go, then you may want to go with the, with this box because you'll be able to fill it. And if you plan on getting all the other expansions that they're going to put out, then it's going to be worth it to you. Uh, on the other hand, if you'd rather just have a do it yourself, you know, kind of thing, your own box and like that, you can certainly do that. You don't need this box. Uh, the only thing that you're going to get out of this box is that it's, it, it's sized just right for the, you know, cards. You're going to have the nice plastic uh, dividers, which I really like. I, I'm, I just love them. They're just very, very nice. Um, and uh, the fact that it comes with the Geek expansion, which they're okay. It's not, you know, the world's greatest thing, but it is kind of a collector's item, especially since it's got, you know, like the, you know, the cast of the uh, tabletop show and sort of, uh, it's sort of a meta game kind of thing, you know, kind of poking uh, uh, fun at, at itself. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm sort of a completionist when it comes to Smash Up. I want to have everything. I, they just announced very recently that another expansion is coming out, so I will definitely be getting that. Uh, so for me, getting these big geeky box, you know, is, is useful because I'm going to use, I'm going to fill stuff, uh, fill it with all, all kinds of decks, and I, you know, I do take that around with me everywhere. So if you know, the, again, uh, the only little con of the box is that it is kind of big, and so it makes it a little bit cumbersome when you're. Uh, carrying it around but you know it is, it is useful it does what it what it says it's gonna do it's gonna carry your stuff and it comes with an extra deck in there uh, is it worth the price uh, at $20 it's kind of pricey when you think of that you're just getting a, a box and you know one deck of cards so uh, that's kind of steep if you can get it for cheaper I definitely recommend it 
but you know it, it, it is a good box so you know it, it, again all it really is is a storage solution for your game so hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if I fail to cover anything that you wanted me to cover or uh, have any questions, please in the comment section, you know, let me know. Uh, if you want to know anything more about the box, if you want to know the, I didn't post anything about the actual dimensions of the box. If you really want to know that, you know, put it down in the comments, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, please let me know. Uh, I, I, I like, you know, interacting with you and finding out what you think. And if you have the box, you know, let me know what you think about that, you know, uh, and uh, so if you found this video useful to you, please, you know, like it, share it with your friends. If you know anybody that would like this or like to know more about this, you know, share this video with your friends. I really like it. And if you want to stay up to date with all the new videos that I'm putting out, please subscribe to this channel and you'll stay up to date. So until the next video, you guys have a great day.